Cover crops are a hot topic these days for their ability to help protect and improve soils. Specifically, cover crops can reduce erosion, improve soil structure, improve biological activity in the soil, sequester nutrients, suppress weeds, plus you may be able to receive a carbon payment if you're adopting cover crops for the first time. So how do you get started? First, choose your crop. Cover crops are often bucketed as either winter hardy or non-winter hardy. In some scenarios, it may make sense to plant a mixture of cover crops. A big consideration is what you'll be planting after the crop. Cereal rye are commonly used ahead of soybeans, and other winter hardy species often make more sense ahead of corn. Second, you need to terminate in time. You'll need to terminate a winter hardy cover crop so it won't interfere with your cash row crop. Options can include rolling and crimping, which inhibits further root growth, or more commonly, a herbicide treatment. If you're not planting green or planting directly into the standing cover crop, you'll need to terminate at least two weeks prior to planting. Make sure you track your costs, including seed, equipment costs, and time involved, as well as the benefits, such as decreased erosion, reduction of tillage passes, improved weed control, and income from carbon credits. Lastly, keep the long term in mind. Some costs and benefits take more than a year to realize. If you've never tried cover crops, we recommend keeping it simple to start, and you can build from there after you get some initial experience. Check out the link for more details.